Hi guys, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Uh, very cold this month. Well, it's not cold, but um, there's a bit of a, a nip in the air. The sun's coming up now and taking that nip away. You probably can see um, steam coming off my breath there. You can certainly probably see it coming coming off the um, off the cup. Uh, there's a slight uh, northerly breeze on here. It's the 10th of um, October today, and um, this week we've um, been continuing the um, big tidy up and uh, the target of my desires this week was um, the middle greenhouse and I can tell you there was a lot of faffing about going on there getting it all sorted out things what we had to do moved things we had to move around to do other things absolute joke it was but um, at the end of it the, um, we've um, got a really nice greenhouse um, so I'll give you a little idea of what we what you're going to see in the video. Um, you're going to see me um, removing all the canes from one side of the greenhouse, which supported all the tomatoes. On the other side of the greenhouse, you're going to see me um, pulling all the chilies off the chili plants, and um, you're going to see the you're going to see the last harvest of them. Now we've been we've been pulling the, these um, these chilies off the out of the middle greenhouse for the last three four weeks. These chilies are the last of the chilies, so um, yeah, you're going to see you're going to see the chilies all laid out once I've pulled them all off the off the plants. Them plants we're going to get rid of. Um, we've also got to tidy underneath the table, and um, once that's all cleared and everything's out of the way, then it's the uh, get the J fluid, and we're going to blitz the inside and outside of the greenhouse. In fact, the the, the outside of the greenhouse was a lot worse. So I'm going to show you the series of clips now, so uh, hold on to your boots and uh, let's get cracking. I'm going to finish this coffee and I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, what I'm doing this morning is taking all these chilies off the, the, the plants and uh, doing away with all the, the plants now. We've got, obviously we're going to be taking um, Seed. I think we'll take the, the better ones. These are uh, the Trinidad Scorpion. These are uh, Scotch Bonnets. And there's a whole host of different ones on here. Um, different chilies, very hot chilies, some really hot chilies like these are the hottest you can get. Um, these ones, I forget what they are, but again, they're over 2 million on the Scoville scale. Um, Scotch bonnets are around about 250,000-ish and uh, then we got the milder ones, the, and, uh, the Apache over here and the Aberinos and stuff like that so what we're going to do, we're going to pick them all, put them in these trays we've already started but uh, yeah that's what we're going to do this morning, we're going to clear them all out and then we're going to um, blitz the, the greenhouse eventually but this morning it's all about removing all the chilies out of it. First things first move all the soil, I've got a bucket here what I'm putting it all in and uh, all the roots and everything straight in the bag here so yeah, it's going to be a pretty messy state of affairs this morning, getting all this lot sorted out. Someone's got to start, I've got to start somewhere I suppose. Uh, get me tray, one of my trays out here. Start collecting these, I have some scissors somewhere so... No point in keeping the um, the plants. They never they never seem to last. Get through the winter. These are uh, Caspian.
shake a few slugs off what I've just seen there. You're not really seeing much here at the moment. Are you just see me taking one or two off? Uh, take some of these Scotch bonnets now. Some lovely Scotch bonnets here. We've been picking these, believe it or not. Um, we picked all the better ones. We're just left with a few dodgy ones at the moment. So they're the ones. There's a few of the Scotch bonnets. What we've we've got. We we never save them. It's easier just to, we always start fresh next year. We'll take some of these. Don't get me wrong, I'll take um, some of the best chilies and we'll use them to make uh, to, for the next stop for next year. But, uh, yep, it's just the ones what are still green, they will ripen. I think we've got every one of them barring them. What's that, what's that one there? just thought it was diseased it's not it's just changing colour now so that just lift it out of the pot I'll get me bucket over lift it up I'm just gonna lift it out and uh, Take all the soil off it, like that. Simple as that. Straight into the uh, into the bag for the tip. We'll clean all the buckets when we have to. What's up next? Uh, yeah, what's this one? Uh, sweet pepper, sweet banana, or something. Take a few seeds from them. In fact, they're not the, not the best one. We've took all the decent ones off that. See all them there. We'll be taking all them seeds out there for that one. So you know, these are what we're going to be holding back on. Right, let's take the label out. Another good one with good to roots. Unfortunately, they're all going into the compost. Into the compost. What's this one? This is another elephant. Tied in with the uh, grapevine here. Something else we need to sort out as well. The grapevine. We we'll give that a good trim as well. I shall make a chilli paste out of all these. Even the small ones we can actually uh, use. Like I say, liquidises the old lot. Once the other slugs have a go at that. There's a few of them what have had a bit of slug damage, I expected that, you know, inside the greenhouse. But we're going to end up with a right pile of these. Um, I think this is, a, this is a patch of this. We've got, must have about 20 plants of these, we do like them. Again.
once I part ways with the plant. We've let them dry out as well. Uh, this is um, it makes it easier to separate the soil. And all this soil is going straight onto that um, raised bed at the back of the plot. We'll dig it in. Put some blood fish and bone in there and some lime. There we go. Another one bites. Well, it does. Uh, what we're looking at here, the last of the chilies in the middle greenhouse. We've uh, this is the last harvest we're going to take out of here. Um, we got big Jim. Uh, we got some these things here. These are Scotch bonnets. You know, nice Scotch bonnets. Uh, jalapenos. Uh, we have got a patch here. We've got sweet banana shallot. Uh, banana peppers. Um, we got cayenne, we got red skins, we got eberinos, we got a whole host of different ones. But that's this is the last harvest we're going to have this year of the chilies. So that was it. That's all done and dusted. So now the the thing is we got to start cleaning the the, the middle greenhouse. I'll I'll put a picture of me doing that um, shortly. But uh, that's it. All intents and purposes. These lot now. We'll be going home, they'll either be put in olive oil, they'll be dried or they'll be liquidised, frozen, put in, in, in ice cubes in the freezer. I will say we've got two more plants left and they're in the middle front greenhouse, we took them out. There was the um, the Trinidad Scorpion and some um, ghost peppers. We didn't want to mix them just in case we mix one in amongst them all, we end up killing itself so we've we've left them in the the other greenhouse and uh we'll we'll sort them out accordingly but what you see there's okay, the as you stuff. can see this greenhouse here the middle greenhouse needs a good tidying up all these canes here these need to come out and uh underneath this table all these pots need ripping out sorting out we need to bag all these chilies and get them in the car and take them all and uh and we need to sort all this jay's fluid here, uh, get the jay's fluid out and sort the uh, inside of the greenhouse, give it a good wiping down, getting all this green mould off it. So that's what we've got to do. Okay, so we've got the scissors. So, start cutting these off. Lucky the cable ties don't cost very much. So there we go guys, all the canes all out now, so we're going to put these canes away and then we'll come back and we'll we'll start on all these pots on the other side see what we need to sort out, but we've got lots of pots to shift, it's uh, we're by no means um, anywhere near tidying it up yet, it's going to take a long 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 time to do so. Let's crack on, I'll be right back.
Right, so we've got his, uh, got his chillies. These we'll put back in the shed. Cracking things, these. This is what you get your mushrooms in um, from the shops. And, uh, well, they're great for putting different, you know, different things in. And we keep, we keep an old pile of these. And, uh, well, what we're going to do now, we're going to clear these out. We're going to get the old marigolds. Uh, some scrubbing materials and uh, we're going to get stuck into cleaning the greenhouse hopefully <coughs> if my chest holds out otherwise it's going to be a long drawn out affair to clean the greenhouse to be quite honest with you but uh, we're going to we're going to start making a crack of it in a bit so I'll be right back we're just going to get get these out of the way we don't want the place they want them stinking of Jay's flu well, do we? as you can see here uh, all this all these clearing this there uh, is uh, grown inside the polycarbonate so there's nothing I can do about that but I can actually clean the sides and uh, all along the bottom we're going to get it a good scrubbing in a minute all along here where we can get anyhow and uh, we should be able to do about 95% of it, but it's all got to be wiped down. Get rid of all the, the green gunky stuff, what's accumulated over the um, the last uh, six months while we've been growing his tomatoes and his um, chilies and his cucumbers. So I'm going to crack on now. I've got the got my marigolds scrubber bucket full of uh, Jay's fluid. And I'm going to crack on before I decide to stop because it's abs absolutely killing my chest. Uh, basically, just breathing it in. We only put a cup, a, a thimbleful in a bucket of water. But yeah, we'll be right back when we when we've done. So uh, let's get cracking. Well, I keep doing it, don't I? I keep turning the bloody uh, the camera off and. Uh, you're not getting to see me doing me cleaning me panels. Believe it or not, most of the gunk on here is on the outside. So, I'm just at the moment going through the motions of having to wipe all this lot down here. That would have to get this uh, get outside and do it as well. Yep, flat can't see nothing really here with all this. See what we're doing up here. Just typical, all the gunks on the opposite bloody side. Hey ho, we can do that in a bit. Let's just uh, pause Look the camera that, a second. Old shine, guys. Absolutely fantastic. The outside uh, was more filthy than the inside. It was absolutely covered in this green gunk. The only trouble is, there's a part just behind here, you can see it where it's a bit green there. I can't get anything behind it to clean it, unfortunately. Otherwise, we've, we've been in there. I can't, you know, I don't want to take that frame off there. That protects the greenhouse from basically the fields over there from idiots throwing stones and what have you there are a lot of people who have uh, basically um, had the glasses broken the greenhouse however um, this stuff is a uh, twin wall polycarbonate I'll tell you more about that in, when we get inside let's get inside here because it's pretty windy but as you can see 
Uh, all the workspaces are all clear now. Got the grapevine, you can see the grapevine more clearly going along here. And the top here, it comes from this corner. This year we've we done all right. We've had a real, real nice uh, bag of um, grapes. So hopefully next year with the other greenhouse in the same sort of pattern, it's, it goes exactly the same way. Hopefully we'll have a we'll have double um, the grapes. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's all been nice and clean with this Jay's fluid. What we will do, we're going to go over it yet again. We'll do it once more um, in about, what, I'd say about two and a half months time. We'll give it another wipe over with the J's. Basically what we're doing here is taking 90% of um, all the, the scum and all the bacteria and what have you, what's uh, accumulated on the water panels over the growing season. We've um, basically... Um, give it its first uh, cleaning we will be definitely doing it again uh, grow house there we need to clean that that's another thing we need to clean the back of the grow out not not the panel but the the grow house itself we can take that out and do that we tidied up along here as well all these pots all we had hundreds give a load to me old mate Jim he brought his wheelbarrow over and we filled it to the top this panel will be coming more part I'll explain what we're going to be doing with one of these panels shortly in fact um, we, we're going to need three this length and one at half the size now we've already got them I'll explain more in a minute but as you can see the greenhouse is uh, wonderful temperature in the greenhouse at the moment is uh, 66 degrees it's actually gone up so it's with even with the windows open and the door open the temperatures are uh, doing really well uh, keeping right up there so let's look. oh we've even put a shelf back in here now we took the, all the canes out and um, well there you go beautiful so um, there you go the greenhouse is looking lovely and um, that's the second greenhouse we've taken care of now all the pots what was underneath the um, the bench, well we give half of them away to me old mate Jim. He filled a wheelbarrow full of pots and trays and he said I don't need no more pots and trays now Matt. I said tell me about it mate, tell me about it. I've got sheds full of the goddamn things. I've um, got more pots, trays than um, I could ever use. Um, I really have, I've got thousands of them. Um, but again... Um, they come in handy when you're starting doing all your planting. Um, so basically, uh, that was the that was that that was the greenhouse done and dusted. We did take a couple of chillies and put them into the front greenhouse. The reason why we did that, we didn't want to uh, mix the hot chillies with the mild chillies. We did that once before, and um, yeah, we nearly paid the pine per I tell you. Lucky, I only took a bite of my burger. Um, because I would have tried to wolf it like I normally do, I'd probably end up in hospital. So we, what we did is we left the hot chilies still on the on the plants, and we put them into the the, the front greenhouse. There's two of them. There's a, um, a Trinidad scorpion and a Brat Jules. Probably two of the hot chilies, hottest chilies in the world. And um, well, what we're going what we're going to do, we're going we've actually took a few off to give me mate over the road. Um, our friends like um, some of them, and uh, it, well, here's a picture of what we what we just picked for them to give them. And they come with a warning, and um, as Sharon already knows, um, the message which come back on Facebook book um, yesterday. Well, Matt, I'm not going to be um, touching them chillies, but Keith can't wait to get his chops round them. Apparently last year when I gave her some of these um, Brat Jolts, the ghost peppers, um, she tried to be daft and eat one. Or she, she, she nibbled a bit of it and uh, apparently it sent her lips numb, a throat numb and it burnt all the inside of her mouth and everything. I did warn her and I'm warning her again and I'm warning her, <laughs> I'm warning Keith as well. They're hot so be very, very careful. They are the hottest, one of the hottest chillies in the world so you know. Treat them with respect and they'll treat you. You could make probably 30 gallon of salsa out of just one of them chillies of that 
bloody hot. But um, yeah, um, funny enough, while we was in that, uh, while we was just showing you the, the chilies there, it brings me to mind, um, we was in the the front greenhouse tidying that the other day and we put some brackets in there for the um, for the grapevine. Well, we was one shot, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show, we've actually put the other bracket into place, so let me show you that, um, show you how, the, how this um, grapevine's going to grow along um, the top of the, the front greenhouse. See, on the apex of the, the greenhouse here, you've got these, and uh, what's going to be happening is, see this here, this is the, the grapevine, yeah? All the way down here, it's all the way up, well it'll come along here and then all of a sudden when it gets to a fair size it's going to come across here and we'll tuck it over in the middle of that and it'll go through that one, through that, through that and then we'll cut it off and hopefully um, we're going to be getting a low more, uh, low more um, grapes. This one here, where you see this, we're going to see which one's the best of these and uh, we'll probably take that one off there and use this runner and that's going to run right the way along the the side of the greenhouse there just like in the other greenhouse and uh, we'll have double the yield of um, of grapes these are the Brat Jol uh, actually they're the Trinidad Scorpions they're Brat Jolska and they're just starting to well there's a few riper ones there but they're ripening up we give a load of these to my friend <laughs> uh, I hope he knows what he's doing some calibres there uh, we're going to be planting them very shortly well as you can see it's going across it it's not quite ready to go through the first um, bar which is in the centre of the roof in fact that makes that that, that greenhouse even stronger um, by putting them brackets in there uh, so it's a win-win situation for me really and um, yep uh, next year them, them gra that great van will be going right probably go right to the very end of the um, the greenhouse and um, we'll be getting even more grapes so I can't wait for that to happen um, the other thing what we was going to do today was um, sorting all the planters and now along the side of the orchard in the middle right in the middle of the, uh, the allotment we've got um, a, a, a series of planters going right along the edge of the, right down the centre of the, um, the orchard and inside them we had a load of um, sunflowers uh, they're only little dwarf sunflowers I think I, I'm probably going to claim a uh, a record for the smallest sunflower it's about nine and a half inches i think it was if i'm not mistaken i can't see anyone else beat that one and uh well what had happened they've all flowered they'd all produced uh, heads of seeds and then the squirrels come along and they took every last one of them so i'm going to show you the clip of what they did and then i'm going to take them all out and we're going to clean all these planters and they're going to get them planters now ready for the, um, the tulips which I'm going to put in there. So uh, here's a couple of short clips of me actually doing that. Well guys, what we're doing, we're taking all the sunflowers out of these pots now. Basically what we're going to be doing is uh, putting all the... Um, tulips and daffodils back in all these pots along here so I've got this side to do and the other side to do yet so I'm not messing about I'm gonna crack on and I'll show you what I've done so we've uh, moved well took all the sunflowers all the small sunflowers out of this side and the other side now so it won't be long before we'll be putting the tulips into these all in these buckets along here. We've got the tulips in the the shed. We'll be doing that very shortly. Right then. So uh, as you just saw there, all the uh, the planters have been cleaned out now. We've got a, a load of bulbs inside the shed in some paper bags. So we're going to actually be putting them into these planters again for this year. Um, well, for next year, I should say. 
Uh, if you want to have a look what the, these flowers actually look like, all you have to do is go back to about April and um, you'll be able to see all the, all the flowers which was in the planters and the same flowers that are going back. So the last thing I'm going to leave you with now is the um, the flag. I'll start behind you, I'll leave it there. Yeah, well, I, Bill, I'm going in a bit. Um, when Jimmy comes, I'm going up to get his uh, pellet, so right, yeah. then you can just fly in. Well, I'm, I've not got nothing in you, see. I'm just trying, I didn't uh, think you'd be on, you see. Oh, I'm always on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you in a bit, Bill. Uh, sorry about that, it's my mate, Bill. He's just, uh, he's, he's, he's second person on to allotment today. Uh, he's just parked behind me. Um, I'm going to go and get um, some pellets for the chickens today and go, while I'm doing that I'm going to get my mate old Jim get his pellets for him. Um, basically what I'm doing while I'm doing this video now I'm waiting for him to arrive and um, well anyhow uh, as we've just got sidetracked there what I want to show you is um, the, the mounting of the new flag. Now the old flag looked like this really tatty and um, what you're going to see is uh, let me change it so Let's go and have a look at As you can clearly see guys, the flag is looking really, really sorry for itself. So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to replace it. So let's get the tools and let's get cracking. Uh, spin the camera around here, that's that. So as you can see, that's what we need. So I'm going to dismantle it and uh, we'll set it up here on the table and show you what we're going to do next. Well, we've got the flag. So first things first, let's set the camera back up and show you how we're going to tie this onto the onto the pole. So see if we can pan the camera down here. So that's what we what we need now. We need some scissors, and guess what? I've left the bloody scissors in the green now. So I'll be right back, guys. Just give me a second. Okay, we're gonna cut these uh, cables, let's make sure we get it the right way, there we go, quite the finger so I can see the lens, uh, yep that's the way, so the first one, we cut that, got some cable ties there, which we're, there's a look like a loop here, so what we do, through there, simple as that, we're not going to tighten it too tight, we need it to move in the wind. I uh, don't know if you can see, just down here, again, cable tight. So I've just got to find my scissors, ah oh, there they are, we're just going to cut the ends off these cable ties so they don't get in the way. And uh, yeah we've got a new flag again guys, there it is. So what we're going to do now, we're going to shove it back up there so. Pin the camera around, let me screw your gun. Let's go and stick it up. Thank you. 
Well, I think that just about uh, sorts the old flag out. There's a new flag. Quite happy with that. Well, as you can clearly see there, um, it does look the part. That flag has been going flying over here for the last five years. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a it's a great way of t telling which way the wind's blowing, and um, well, it adds a bit of character to the plot, I think. Um, there's a couple of us have got a few flags. There's a few of us fly flags on here, um, but uh, there's, there's only two of us who fly the far, uh, pirate flag, and uh, the other one's Pauline from Plotting Plotting Along. And she's got a little flag there, skull and crossbones, on her plot. I don't know if you've seen it. But she has got one, and uh, well, it looks apart now. Uh, the the big tidy up is still going to be going on. Uh, next episode, we're going to be dressing all these these four beds on the front of the plot with um, some horse manure, um, and uh, hopefully, we'll be sorting the the new punk the big pumpkin out. Um, but these are all things what we'll be doing in the next episode. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for, su for subscribing. And um, thanks for leaving your comments. Um, so that's it for this one. So I'll be seeing you.